Hej all, Mads Barnkop. Hej all, Mads Barnkop. Hej all, Mads Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today I'm here with my son Alfred. Who is going to help me do a teardown of this ESAP Bantam stick welder. Now this is an old transformer and rectifier low voltage welder, 140 amps. But it's pretty old and you can see the stick, uh, the clamp, even the, the power connector is an, of an old style. We have some damaged cables sitting all around here. So I think we'll just uh, do a teardown of it and uh, clean it up and give it some new uh, modern connectors, maybe a new clamp and then try to weld something with it. The unit comes in a, some kind of plastic enclosure. We have a vent here at the top. We have a vent at the bottom. We have nothing at the back, so everything comes out the front here. Is a Bantam serial number. It's the model TBH 140. It takes 400 volt AC, two phased, and will pull some two and a half kVA at 100% load. The current selector is just this up here. It goes from zero to 140. And let's see, designed Bert Frelin, made in Sweden. Good old sturdy unit. My father says that he remembers this unit being on all farms when he was a kid, that this is the go-to welder you would see repairing farm equipment. Very sturdy unit. As he said, it was impossible to kill it. So I'm just wondering how to get it apart if it's these, uh, this handle here because there does not seem to be any screws maybe inside here. Oh, okay, the leg just... Ah, okay, nice and clever design really that the legs are the... Uh, what holds the whole unit together. So that's really nice and quick. And as you can see, it also gets a little wear being dragged across a concrete floor. Assuming this was the same height when it was new, so it has lost a good centimeter. So what uh, did tease me getting it out of the enclosure was these two um, screws here. And they are actually holding the um, thermal contact, a piece of bimetal, sitting underneath here to switch off the unit if it gets too hot. So I think I will just get this uh, cleaned up and actually it does seem like it's just a low voltage AC welder. There is no rectifier here. Does however seem it has been a little hot. Not sure if this is just the original coating, I think it is. But uh, as you can see, a lot of metal has grown on it and it's been sticking out and has probably arced a few times here and there. So um, seems to be quite an abused unit, but as it's still working, really shows that they are hard to kill. So let's get this cleaned up. The unit itself has been cleaned up, um, wiped it over with some acetone at the front here uh, as the last thing. Now we need to, to uh, clean up the handle, get a new clamp and also repair these two damages on the low voltage cable. This sits on the clamp and the stick so it's not on the mains cable. So luckily we can just do a repair as this has been done with some electrical tape but uh, I think I will find some proper crimping to put around it. So let's get these off first. That was a nice little cleanup. So we pulled out a lot of dirt of this Nice old welder, cleaned it up nicely. It's actually yellow and metallic now. 
nice big uh, modern CE plug for the two-phase supply. Cleaned up the welding stack, cleaned up the clamp, new uh, connector, new uh, shoe on the wire. Redid all and tightened all electrical connections. There were only a few of them that were loose, but I think we are about ready to go. So I, I'm not really a master welder, uh, something I have here. Elga P62MR7080G, I think. So just some random rod, not sure what it's really for. So uh, what a start, but that also corresponds with the last time I actually did weld anything was this. This is a um, cow, I think I presumed it was. Let's just say I welded this some um, mm -hmm, 25 years ago, I think. Quite a while. It's mostly done with the tick welding. Most of this, um, whereas that's also tick, 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 tick. That's also tick. But I think this was uh, CO2. I'm not sure there's actually any stick welding on this. No. The legs were CO2 welded and the rest of the body and the head were tick welded. So yeah, I'm just going to find uh, two pieces of uh, metal and let's try to weld it together. Two random pieces of metal. The welder. Now the size of this, I'm not really sure where to start. So. Let's just go with 80, 75, half power, a pair of uh, auto darkening welding glasses here, or helmet, uh, just a cheap one that I could find, a pair of uh, welding gloves, I do wear my uh, flame retardant, but not exactly welding clothes, so uh, I'll try not to get that ruined too much. Now the only stick that I had so this will also get interesting a bit, uh, bit long, not that easy to control, at least not for a inexperienced welder like me and it uh, it hums nicely Okay, so that was too low current to actually get a good spark there. Yeah, let's just go with that. So let's do what we do with Tesla coils, more current. Alright, that was really hard to get to start right and actually uh, not stick and that is a terrible weld. I mean, I'm ready for the critique that I will get for this. At least it seems to be pretty decent here, then I moved way too fast and then yeah, that did not get any good. So let's see. Yeah, did not really uh, fuse the metals. Actually I'm not sure if this is uh, even... I thought this was a black iron as it's rusted here but the magnet likes it, likes it too but mm, not sure it's that easy to weld on this. Maybe I should uh, try something else. Okay, trying two pieces of black pipe instead. Okay, so 
The second time was a little better, but I can see I'm starting to burn my work table. It's so quite a bad idea to weld here. Seems a little bit better, but uh, of course uh, no better than it can be jerked off quite easy. I'm not sure which welding rock, rod I even have here, but it's for sure a wrong one, or maybe that's just my excuse for not being a good welder. Thank you for watching. This was a video mostly about cleaning out and looking what's inside a old school low voltage AC welder and also my inability to actually use a stick welder. So yeah, leave a comment if you feel like you are any better or have any advice for me on how to start stick welding. I was a little afraid of touching the rod and getting too close to it, so um, yeah, maybe that is a beginner, beginner mistake. But I will have to look up some videos on YouTube, of course, uh, and learn how to be a stick welder. So until next time, see ya.